Hello and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to some more Battletech Iron Man career mode where in the last video we completed the prototype flashpoint and we got the Raven prototype. Unfortunately we need to fit it with weapons so I've done that. Problem is my mechs took an absolute beating in that uh, flashpoint both my Vindicators are out, um, one of my fire starters is I've put into storage and we've got pan two Panthers left but one's in for repair as well as well as the other one is about the only thing left, That's we got one Panther left, that's it, that's all we got and otherwise our pilots our warriors are not doing so well either. The two best pilots I've got, Jasconis and myself, are both out. I am out for 45 days, Jasconis is 92 days. He took an absolute beating, unfortunately. Good news is we got a lot of money out of that, so we have a few months spare that we can take off, which we're going to need to because... 92 days, right, it's going to take 45 days just to get all our mechs back and 28 days just to get both our Vindicators back. So it's going to take a little while. Luckily we've got a little travel time before before we take our next contract and let's just see, let's just visit the store before we go anywhere. But let me just say, before we go anywhere else and do anything else, I'd like to say if you like the video, remember to hit the like button. And if you want to see more videos, remember to hit the subscribe button. Okay, so was looking to buy some stuff. Weapon-wise, there isn't anything here. We've got some AC 10s and 20s, which is good, but I think we'll leave those. Uh, equipment, there's actually some pretty good stuff here. Some rangefinder. TTS is a missile accuracy. How much is that? 770,000. We're rich, but we're not that rich, unfortunately. And then mechs, we don't have a full mech, but there is a Black Knight part, two Centurion parts, uh, one Crab part, Thunderbolts, 5SS, and then a Victor. Yeah, and it tells me here how many parts I've got. So, yeah, we can build another locust. Oh, we can complete as nice commando. That's fine. Yeah, we're not. We've not got any of the good mechs, so we'll leave those. I think we are going to go for. And the, there's no point in hiring any mechs because it's just getting a bit crowded otherwise. I think we're going to go for this mission first, which is at Ithaca, which is 14 days travel away, which still means we still got to wait a few days, 14 more days, to get all our or four mechs back up and running. So it might be worth travelling there and then seeing what missions are available. So there it is, I've already looked this up. It's a two star world, so we could get some higher missions, we could get some lower missions. Uh, it's only gonna cost me 30,000 um, credits to get there. So we might as well head off. Uh, view contracts, it has a travel contract available. The employer is offering to pay the travel costs. Ah, okay. Well, we might as well do that. Contracts. I was going to see if we can risk it, but that's going to save me some money. 30,000 credits is better than nothing. So let's negotiate this. And we don't really need them so much money, but we do need some salvage. So I'm thinking, yeah, like that should do. Yeah. Cool, let's go for that. And I can't negotiate for just um, reputation, but I wouldn't want to anyway. So let's accept that, let's start traveling, and let's have a bit of fun.
Okay, so hey, Commander, the talk of on Merknet is that some of the new mechs and weapon systems fell off a cargo ship and are available to folks with the right connections. Well, I've got a connection, so give the words and a free crate of random new goodies will magically appear in our cargo holds. Or we could travel the right, the straight and narrow, buying them in a store and salvaging them from the battlefield like normal. Well, so this is the part part of the new updates that, or the latest update. It's not new anymore. By the time this video comes out, it is just come out when I'm recording this video, but that will be explained in the later times and in other videos. But yes, heavy metal has just come out. And we get a free crate. So let's take the crate and let's see what we get. The bonus reward is a Narc Beacon, um, plus 25% damage mark, and for missiles, we get a Vulcan. Ooh. Oh, this is what he's equipped with an LB2X Narc Ammo and LB2X Ammo. Okay. So that looks like a AC style weapon and that is missiles. Cool, so we got a new mech, a rare mech. That's a 40 ton mech, wow. That mech is ready to fight, Commander. Okay. Um, since we've got a Panther already, ah, no, I can't put, can I put this one in? Yeah, I can send that one to storage, shot it. Yeah, let's do it. Let's send that one to storage. Then we've got two mechs. And that means we've got three medium mechs. Storing this mech will cancel the active maintenance tasks. You are sure you want to skip this? You'll be refunded 4,000. Confirm. Yes. Awesome. So we get... We've got four mechs. So by the time that we get to Ithaca, we will have four mechs to do the mission with. What a spot of luck. Okay, so another month down, another financial report down. So operating costs are getting expensive at just over three and a three hundred thousand or three hundred seventeen thousand. Um, that is mostly due to mechs. Although it's not much in it with my pilots because they're getting pretty good and they're pretty expensive to keep on board, but that's fine. We need good. We need good pilots. So we're two days out, and we should have the fire starter when we get there. So let's see. Uh, not yet. Let's see what else is around. So the hiring hall has some pilots. Ooh, what's he? Why is he MRB rating too low? Why has he got some interesting symbols? I guess we'll never know. Unfortunately. It doesn't look like there's anyone really good there. Um, no. So let's see what is at the store. We have... Okay. At one weapon. Awesome. We have quite a little, lot of... Um, quality stuff. Some equipment bits. And high, good value stuff as well. 30% uh, stability damage, or minus 30% stability damage. Oh, so these are, yes, plus 2 hit defense, gyros, plus 3 melee hits, minus 35% stability damage taken, but that's 3.3 million. We don't have enough credits for that. Uh, the arm mods, plus 10 melee damage, so that's not too bad. Although at the moment we're not doing anything, there's no mechs sadly, so we're not buying any of this just yet because that would mean repairing mechs and spending time with them unfortunately, or spending time not earning money again. So we might as well just jump in with a contract and let's see what other ones are available here after this one. Okay, so there's a few one and a half star missions, and then a two star and some two and a half star missions. Once we've got our two Vindicators back, the two and a half star missions might be worth looking at doing, because we will have two, three medium mechs by then. 
But let's see if we can do this one first. So we're completely empty. <laughs> Our Lance got completely obliterated, basically, is what it's saying. So the Vulcan... Oh, it might not have... Oh, it's, no, it has got CQ... Plus 90 meter support range, plus 10 melee hit defense. Close quarter combat suit, I'm guessing that is stands for. MG, medium laser. Oh, so it doesn't have the new stuff. Okay. It's got AC2, AC2 ammo, flamer. It's got a couple of MGs. So it's, it's close, it is a close combat mech, which is fine. So let's put the Vulcan in there, the Vindicator there. We're going to have the Firestarter and the Panther. Now I've got to remember who goes where. I'm thinking. I'm thinking Crack. You know, who has the best pilot in? It's you. I'm thinking you can t um, go in the Vulcan because. That's such a close combat orientated mech. I think Lionheart will go in the Firestarter. Then we've got to put Grizzly in the Panther and Crackshot in the Vindicator. So it's not the best Lance, not the best pilots, unfortunately. My two best are out and I've got another Vindicator and a Raven left to come back in. Command interface initiated. Okay, so we've landed, and the mission is destroy the base, and then extract. So, I'm guessing that's where we extract from, and over here is where we destroy the factory. Nope, that's the factory. Destroy factory defenders. Okay, so don't have to do that. But we might as well since they look like they're in the way. Moving to position. And yeah, let's go in there. So the Vulcan is, is pretty fast with Sicilian piloting. Move on out. Now this is not a good lance, because I have no idea what anyone is gonna be doing in this or what I'm going to be doing in this, so I don't want to sprint that close. Okay, let's let's stick. Yeah, I don't want to lose the Vulcan. It is a rare mech, so if we lose it, I don't think we'll get another one. Uh, yeah, let's pull up there. Copy that. Okay, we got a contact. We got two mechs that we've seen. So we can still sprint Rolling. for the moment. Let's do that. Okay, that's drawing line of sight. Okay, so this is basically where we want to go. Roger that, Commander. It's where we're going to form our line for this turn, and then we'll see what we have. So they're going to get the first shots off, unfortunately. We got a Panther. So that's not too big a target. Damn you! Gonna hit straight away. Armor breach. Internal damage. Already. Okay. Well, never mind. Fire starter. Grizzly. Something I can do. Right. What's your chance of hitting? Not too bad. But you are. Everything of mine is fairly close what range at the moment. Please. So we're gonna have to get in range and kick their ass that way. There we go. That's actually not too bad. A couple of good laser hits then. And what is the sec? Oh, it's coming in from that side. It's another panther. Everything missed. So that's good. I'm going to continue on this guy because, well, he is the one that I've just done damage to. For no real other reason. Okay, let's. Can we get the flamers in? Yes. So we might as well cook him. Affirmative. 
play as well, there's no reason not to. I am putting the fire starter in a bit of a bad position because he's going to get flanked in a second by an unknown Byron. target. But his heat did go up, so it's all good. Okay, there is four mechs. And we have a commando. Okay, so three light mechs. Not so bad. And it's a good job they can't hit. Right, so who do we want to test out? Let's test out... Sicilian in the order. crack shots. Let's see what you can do. So, Flamer AC2, MG, Medium Laser. I think you're going to be my new close combat mech. That's not going to get the Flamer in range. It is going to get the Flamer in range. That's going to be interesting. How far can you jump? You can actually do a death from bomb him. No, we've done that enough. Let's not wreck the Vulcan straight away in its first run. Let's go there. Heading out. And let's see if we can cook the panther. The arm's pretty toasty already. Otherwise everything else looks like it missed. So that sucks. But don't worry, crack shots Commander. is not really a crack shot, let's just say. Okay, you can get line of sight. It's not so bad actually, but let's see if we can get a better position. So that is 80, 60, 65. Okay, it's all about the same. So let's go there then. We're probably a little bit too close for the LRMs for next turn. But for this turn, we should do a decent amount of damage. Go left torso, left arm destroyed. So some of the weapons are gone. Right, now let's move Order. Lionheart and we might as well go for the close combat. We'll go there so we don't expose our back. Actually, no, we do want to go there because we go straight through to the center torso then. Yeah, I mean, we've, we've damaged we're a leg, down. so we may lose a meg, a, a, a meg, no, a leg, damn it, we missed. We may lose the leg, but otherwise, that's about all we can hope for. Okay, critical heat. Reporting, critical hit. Yeah. Critical hit and critical heat levels. That's fine, you run away. Receiving. That's good. What do we get in there? Seventy-five percent chance of hitting. Yeah, let's do that. Let's finish this mech off. This panther off. Yeah, second torso is pretty wrecked. So hopefully. All weapons system. Oh, so one percent damage reduction, but it doesn't matter. Center torso gone. Eliminate. Right, this panther is going to tear us a new one. Luckily, he can't aim either, so we're all damage good. Is light. We will face off against better pilots that can hit later on in the um, career modes, but. At the moment, I'm happy with pilots that can't shoot me very well. And I'm happy that it's four light mechs that we're facing, because otherwise we could have been dealing with a lot of damage from this mission. Right, there we go. Okay. 
Receiving you. Do I want to just turn rounds? Do I? Yes, yeah, sod it. Let's just turn around and attack him. Uh. Right arm destroyed. I kicked him. I look like I kicked him in the face. No, I kicked his arm off. Head hit. That's pretty cool. And crack shot. Waiting for orders. He might as well do the same thing. He's got no. Actually, he's got no close range stuff. So, if I just click attack, terrible chance with the LRMs. Slightly better chance with the LRMs there. So, sod it, let's do that. Overheat warning, okay. Well, let's turn the LRMs off. And that laser, because it doesn't have a very good chance of hitting compared to the 80% chance. Taking the shot. Left arm destroyed. Cool. Critical hit, Commander. Good, good. Oh, yeah. We're inspired. And yeah, let's get good Grizzly back in the fight. This should be fun. Another close combat. Combat attack. Actually, no. This yep. fire star. Let's get the fire starter in. Yeah. That would be good, because all the flamethrowers would be handy. We'll probably take up the Senators out, but I don't care. These are only light mechs. We're not too much, not too worried about salvaging too, salvaging too much of them. Plus 40 heat. Still standing, barely. Oh, don't be shooting my Vulcan. Even if it is only two Damage missiles. Minimal. Right here. Okay, Grizzly, now it's your turn. Actually, what happens if I just... I, I can't tell. That's the problem. If I go there, actually, I can. 70% chance. So if I just sit still and turn round, it's probably for the best. Yeah. Overheat warning, only barely though. So let's turn the SRMs off. Engaging with tag. Okay, left torso destroyed, pilot injured. Solid connection on that one. So now it's their two remaining light mechs, and then my two medium mechs. Oh, I didn't like that. That went through the structure. So the Vulcan's gonna need a refit. Well, it repairs, but I'll probably do a refit on it. Okay, I don't like reporting locusts. minimal damage. Okay, all my standing by mechs are facing the wrong way, strangely. Can we ninety percent chance of hitting? Yeah, let's go for uh, it's overheat warning though. I think I'm gonna have to go close combat for a turn. Let's just do it. Go for it. We should be able to take out one or two of these mechs by doing that. So at least this this mech by doing close combat. Oh! We might even be able to take out the locus because it's not all that strong. Target down. It's not very sturdy at all. Standing by. And how much damage do we do? 50 plus the MG plus the Flamer. Although the Flamer doesn't do much damage, Location it does confirmed. heat damage. Targeting for physical attack. Right arm's gone, I headbutted his arm off. And yeah, the heat damage is minimal, really. Okay, fire starter, yeah, let's go with you. Actually, no. There is a good position because we go through the broken arm then. Location straight confirmed. into the center torso. Once we get through the left right body parts. Which I think we did. Ammo explosion. Enemy eliminated. Gone. Nice. Flamer's empty. 
Yeah, did open up the back. Unfortunately. Not much armor left in that location. But it's fine. Nothing blow up. Nothing blew up. Yes, command. No, nothing interesting blew up anyway. Uh, 60% chance. I think we can move a little bit closer. Okay, still only 60% chance. Okay, so we're just inside. Yeah, we just. There is no other way of putting it, but we are just in the optimal range, no matter where we go. So let's move as far as we can, so we got some invasion points, and then fire. Although we're only barely, but we are overheating. So let's turn one of those off. Target confirmed. And we missed. 60% chance, but we miss. I guess you call that a miss. I think we call that a miss, yeah. Waiting for order. Okay, so we can now start shooting some lasers again. Maybe. Not the LRMs. There we go. And we've got a miss. We got the structure exposed, which is good. And Cecilia. To be fair, you might as well continue on your rampage in close combat. We'll go for the left side because that's weakened. That. There we go, left arm destroyed. A bit extra damage. Bit of heat, although he is going My next is because it's his turn. So he's got the heat isn't going to. Oh no, it is my turn. Sorry. Oh, well. Yeah. This panther can get in close combat as well. Let's go for it. Yes, because he's rather hot. Do it. Piece of cake. Ooh. Nothing blows up. Never mind. Where are you going to run off to? Just there. That's fine. Hey, up. Can I? I can get the medium lasers in range. So that's cool. Can't be there. Flamers are out of fuel, unfortunately. But we can do a precision strike. And we can take on. And um, well, it doesn't really matter. Let's go for a leg. I got you. There we go. And then. The Vulcan Commander. and crack shots. Sorry, the Vulcan and the Vindicator should finish him off. In fact, if I just go shooting. Still would need to move. In fact, we can jump over him and go for his damage side, can't we? Let's Rock do that. Out. He thought he'd try and hide it, but he didn't, and he doesn't. And sadly, our AC2 is not very good at hitting in this range. But the other stuff is. Solid connection on that one. Commander? Okay. Yeah, let's go there. We can do another precision strike. I'm there. See if we can take out his leg. That would be pretty cool. Ooh, we're going to overheat though. So, let's turn those off. Yeah, let's go for the leg, although I think the arm is actually more more damage, so we'll go there, sod it. Target luck. Give him everything you've got. It's four on one, and this one mech is holding out longer than anyone else, really. Ready for orders. 
If we go back to melee, we should be able to take him out fairly quickly, as long as we hit. You're gonna feel this. PPC critical. No, I could have used that. Critical hit. And apparently, I'm in the radiation zone, so I'm getting yes, radiation field plus ten heat for two activations until passing. Oh, that's not good. Kind of forgot about that. Never mind. Let's finish this guy it. off. Ah! Heat sink destroyed. Arm destroyed. Jump jet destroyed. He's not jumping Critical out here anytime soon then. But he's probably going to run away. Yes. Standing by. Okay, we have to finish him this time. He's got no arms to defend his body. Targeting. Target destroyed. There we go. Alright, now we just have to go... That's a kill. ...destroy the factory. Which is easily done. Unless there's anything defending there that we don't know about. Okay, so yes, I went and destroyed some buildings, which were guarded by turrets, and then I had to walk back across the map to the LZ, which all of that took just as long to do as it took me to destroy those four mechs. So, yeah, I, I won't bore you with that. But we did get some money, and let's see what salvage we get after checking the damage, which isn't too bad. We almost lost that arm. And that leg's not very much better. Ten hit points were left on that arm. That's all. So we got away with that one just. But, you know, that's all that matters. And let's see, what can we make? We can actually make a commando. A locust. We can take a PPC. And to be fair, we're probably getting most of this. And I'm going to take the... SRM2. Yeah, alright, oh, no, we can take one more. So let's take the Panther piece, and that way we only need that one last one to make. We take, got it? We got everything. Wow, well, yes, I thought we might. But yes, that's good. We get three new mechs. That mech is ready to fight, Commander. That mech you asked for is cleared for fighting. That mech you wanted is back online. Okay, so when I say new mechs, what I'm doing is I'm going to be putting all of them into storage because I'll most likely sell all three of them. Now, our mechs are back in a bit of a terrible state because we're down to two working mechs again. And do I need to refit this mech? I don't think we do. So... What can we add to this? We can put AC weapon there. But otherwise, put another laser there, another laser there. I think. I think we're pretty good actually. So, his armor's maxed as is, and he is. Now, where does it tell me max durability? 520 armor. 291 structure but yeah there's there's some room for improvements but I think for the moment it's looking pretty good so we'll just repair that Long the Vulcan let's refit this tomorrow. and see what we can actually put in here so We have. Didn't we get a the the LB two X? Okay, so what does this combat suit do? Plus ninety minute meter support range, plus ten melee hit defense. Okay, the the close quarters combat suit provides the Vulcan with a, with a range bonus to its support weaponry for increased engagement distance. This equipment also provides a substantial defense against reprisal melee attacks. Okay, I'm not entirely sure what that means, but hey. So this LBX or 2X 
is minimum range of 120. So AC 10 is zero minimum range. What's the AC 2's minimum range? 120. Okay, so the AC. Ah, oh yes, I remember. The AC 2 is has a longer range than the AC 20, or the AC 10. But it weighs a lot more. So the AC 10 is 12 tons as opposed to six tons. I think the AC5 is... Oh wait, that's ammo. AC5 is eight tons, minimum range of 90. So this is a very close combat mech, and it is currently fitted out completely. But I am thinking that's four damage, one stability, two heat. This is... Oh, it's 4 times 12 damage. And this is 25 with 5 stability. Okay, let's swap that over then. We might as well. And then the ammo for it. Let's put it at the top. So we've got a flamer there, unless we want to change the flamer for a laser. Hmm, I think yeah, I don't think the flamer is very good on this. I think we're going to go for a small laser. And then... What was the other thing that we got? So oh, it was a Narc um, beacon, wasn't it? Which can't fit on this mech, so that's fine. Um, MG, MG ammo. We could, again, swap out for a laser as opposed to an MG because I think that would be better yeah let's do that so let's take that off put a small laser on there and we can then put another laser on there if we wanted another small laser and that still keeps us under the tonnage we still have two tons remaining. Firepower has increased. Heat efficiency has increased. So let's see if we can put some heat sinks on here without making this too heavy. No, we're actually looking pretty good. Got six jump jets, I think. That's a little bit overkill, if I'm honest. And let's spread those out. Yeah, there we go. We've got, we've got very little armor on the legs. That is one problem. Maybe I'll take that laser off. Yes, because then that would give us better heat efficiency. So if I take a heat sink off... Actually, we don't even need... I'll keep that one on. Yeah. That's better. That's much better. Cool. So it's going to take seven days to repair that one, unfortunately. Never mind. What is its stock combat roll? What we got, I guess. AC2 Flamer. Yes. Which was, you know, okay. But I think mine will do better. Oh, no. Okay, so now we have to wait about ten days for everything to get repaired in the mech bay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build up the lounge as a ship upgrade, which gives us plus one morale. It's going to take 10 days as well. Add in a little bit of an average cost per month, but I think Roger that, it would be worth it to keep the crew busy. And I think otherwise, we're just going to pass some time and get some, oh, there you go, eight days it's going to take us and we're still yeah with the problem is we're still got our two best pilots out so never mind but anyway that's going to do it for this video i think it's going to end up being a shorter video but it has taken me quite some time to make it as i said it took me just as long to um do the second part of the mission destroying the buildings as it did the first half but before we go, looks like we've got something for 
in the future. So the memorial wall. Late in the evening, Sicilian ducks into your quarters. Dark circles rim her bloodshot eyes. Hey, Commander, I uh, know you're busy, but I don't know where to turn. What's wrong? Sicilian voice trembles. I haven't slept in days. I keep thinking, why me? Why am I alive? I've seen ejection fails, ammo explosion, and impossible headshots. Rookies, veterans, it doesn't matter. How long until my picture is added to the memorial wall? Um. Well, reassure Sicilian, help Sicilian forget the troubles, refer Sicilian to the med techs. Uh, this could be this is going to be a really tricky one because I think there's a good chance of any of these giving her a bad mark and I don't want to lose her because she's quite a good pilot so she's done nine missions she's nearly made it to ten missions 160 days employed she's a, um, a good hard-working pilot Let's uh, help Sicilian forget her troubles. She's gained the following tags. Drunk. Oh, that's not good. Um, but she has gained the tag of high spirits for 14 days. That's not good. So she's now a drunk. <laughs> Never mind. As long as she's not drunk whilst in the pilot seat. I suppose it's all good. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, remember to hit the like button. And if you want to see more videos, remember to hit the subscribe button. But until next time, have fun and enjoy the rest of your day.